Kinley first graders. It is Miss Sequin here. I went and I picked up the packet today for the students, like what you guys will get. Today, you guys get a book. It's called If You Give a Pig a Party. So, also with that came a little craft that you guys can do. What they want you to do is they want you to cut it out. You cut out this big thing. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, you can decorate it first before decorate this entire thing. Then you glue it and it should look like a party hat at the end. I need to try it and see how it goes. I'll post it in class dojo for you. How's that sound? So basically, you guys are going to decorate it. They gave you some pom-poms. They gave you some glue. And they also provided a little math game for you. So what you do is, on the math game, is you roll the die that they give you. And you can roll one, you can roll two, however many you think you can add up at a time. You're gonna make little tally marks and then add those tally marks. And the first person to get to 100 wins. Try it with your family and let me know who wins because I'm really excited to find out. So for today's reading, I'm going to read If You Give a Pig a Party by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If it's illustrated by somebody, what does that mean? Yeah, they did the pictures, exactly right. So after this is over, I'm going to provide some things in Class Dojo. It will be a Unit 5 review and math. And we will also, Miss Roberts and I will also be posting some graphic organizers and things for you guys to fill out. And we want you guys to turn those in every Monday. Every Monday, just put them in Class Dojo. You can post it, your families can post it, or you can just message it to us. We'll take whatever, all right? So here, let me read this story to you. If you give a pig a party, uh-oh. What do you think is going to happen? If I give a pig a party, what do you think? She's going to ask for some balloons. When you give her the balloons, she'll want to decorate the house. Does that kind of make sense? You give a pig a party, she wants balloons. Wouldn't you want balloons at your party? And then maybe you want to decorate? Maybe, it sounds pretty cool. When she's finished, she'll put on her favorite dress. Then she'll call all her friends to invite them to the party. Look how cute her dress is. So, does it look kind of crazy? She looks like she decorated, she's getting ready for the party, she's hanging up some things in the background, she's standing on that, you shouldn't do that. Use a ladder, but make sure your parents do it, you shouldn't be doing that. Her friends won't be home, so you'll go with her to look for them. Oh no, no friends at home. On the way, she'll see a street fair. She'll want you to take her on the bumper cars. She's getting a little distracted, so she wanted to call her friends, they weren't home, so she's got to go find them. Now she's at a street fair with her favorite dress. All her friends will be there. Well, if all her friends are there, shouldn't she just have the party there? Couldn't this be her little birthday party? Bumper cars look really fun. I'd like to ride in some bumper cars. Then you'll have to take her on all the rides. That's all right. Maybe that could be her new party, like we said. She'll want to play all the games too. So if you were at a carnival, you'd want to ride rides, do the bumper cars, and then play some games. What else would you do at a carnival? What else could you do? When she's done, she'll ask you for some ice cream. Ice cream too? When she's finished eating the ice cream, she'll need to change her clothes. You have to take her home. Yeah, because she made a little bit of a mess. So now she's leaving her friends to go home. But now what's going to happen? If she goes home, what do you think? She'll ask her friends to come along. Oh my goodness. How many animals do you see on this bike? I see quite a few. Can you imagine that many animals on a bike? On the way, she'll start a game of hide and seek. That's okay, little pig. You can start a game of hide and seek. I don't see her, do you? Where's the pig? Oh, there she is. Good job. If you saw that before I did, really good job. When you finally get home, you'll have to make dinner. Make dinner? You're gonna make a lot of dinner. Look how many pieces of bread she has. Looks like she's making some what? Yeah, maybe some peanut butter and jelly. Then she'll want to have a sleepover. You have to find pajamas. A sleepover? Imagine that many animals in your house for a sleepover. That's a lot of animals. And blankets and pillows for everyone. So blankets, pillows, pajamas, all kinds of things. When she sees the pillows, she'll probably start a, if she sees a pillow, what do you think she's going to start? Let's see if you're right. What's it look like? A pillow fight! Oh my goodness, she's having a pillow fight. That sounds fun too. Maybe you guys should do that. Maybe you guys should have a slumber party at your house with your family. Maybe you guys can all sleep in like the same room. Who knows? 
Then she'll make a fortress out of blankets. Have you ever done that before? I've done that a couple of times. It's pretty fun. Of course, when she's finished, she'll want to decorate it. So she'll ask for some. What do you think she's going to want to decorate it with? Let's see, let's see. Balloons! And chances are, if you give her some balloons, what'd she do at the beginning? If you gave her balloons, what did she want to do? She's going to ask you for a party. So, what did we learn in the story? What did the pig want the entire time? She wanted a party. So, if you give her a party, she needs balloons. And then she's going to what? Decorate the house. And then she's going to call her friends. And then she's going to have to go find her friends. Try to retell the story with your family. And on the graphic organizer, you're probably going to have to do that too. All right? So, this is your guys' story. That's your assignment for the week. I would love to see your party hats when you're done. Let me know who wins the dice game. It looks really fun. And make sure you keep the glue for the rest of the summer. I know we gave you glue too, but make sure you have glue. Because they, I think they're going to give you more art projects. Alright guys, see you later. Have a good day.